In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the ratio of the lifetime value of a customer to the customer acquisition cost. So here we've got our formula for the lifetime value of a customer and the formula for the customer acquisition cost. And we've covered this in other videos, but so I'm just going to jump right to our sample problem. So let's say that you own a company called Twin Carrots and you sell these Twin Carrots and your contribution margin ratio is 80%. Your churn rate is 10%, so that means you lose 10% of your customers in any given month. We're going to go on a monthly basis here. So every month, 10% of your customers stop being a customer, which means the average length of time that someone spends as a customer is 1 divided by the churn rate. Okay, so 1 divided by 0.1, which is 10, 10 months. Okay, so the average time spent as a customer is 10 months. Customers spend $6 a month on average on your twin carrots and you spend six thousand dollars to acquire 50 customers okay maybe you ran some targeted advertising online and you acquired those 50 customers so how do we calculate the customer acquisition cost well we're going to take the six thousand that we spent to acquire customers so that's six thousand and we're going to divide it by the number of customers we acquired which is 50 so that gives us hundred and twenty dollars is the cost to acquire a customer. Okay, so that's our cost to acquire a customer. So if it's $120 to, co uh, to acquire a customer, we better get value of more than $120. So hopefully three, four, five times uh, of, of $120 for this to be worth it, okay? So our lifetime value of a customer, we've got our contribution margin ratio, 80% times 10 months is the amount of time on average someone spends as a customer times six dollars of revenue per customer per month if you multiply all this out it gives you a lifetime value of 48 dollars so we've got a problem here because it actually costs us 120 dollars to acquire a customer but once we have a customer the lifetime value of that customer is only 48 dollars so we've got a problem we've got to change our business model or, or raise our price somehow get people to spend more money or something because we are not, this is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. And what I mean by that is this, just think about it using common sense. If it takes you $120 to get a customer, and then once you have that customer, you only get $48, in the long run, you're gonna lose money. What you want, what you want is the long-term value, or the lifetime value of a customer to the customer acquisition cost to be at least three to one, with the lifetime value higher, obviously, than customer acquisition cost three four five to one something like that okay if it's like 50 to one then it says hey maybe you're not spending enough money to get customers because it's so valuable but we want the long lifetime value of a customer to be higher than the customer acquisition cost and we want it to be at least three or four times or five times higher and the reason is is that it's not enough so let's just say hypothetically that the lifetime value of a customer was 125 dollars and we say, okay, well, this is this is higher than this. Well, that's nice. That's a start. It's better than this. But remember, there are costs other than the cost of acquiring a customer. Okay, there are other costs associated with a company. This is just kind of looking at, okay, just actually to bring in a customer and then what that customer is worth, just comparing those things quickly. And so there are a number of other costs. So we want to have a lifetime value of a customer that's you know, two, three, four, five times higher than the customer acquisition cost in order for us to say that our business model, our company, our product is sustainable for the long run. 